talking with Cloris Leachman, the wonderful actress. Oh, Dick, thank you. Yeah. You were going to sing, but you decided not to. With I could only sing an F and G and L. <laughs> because of your <laughs> attack. I would throat. have to pantomime the high part, so I'll wait for another time. Yeah. Let me ask you this. When you were in the, on the Oscars, uh, do you find that afterwards you... I know beforehand people must always write their speech in their heads and all, and then, and then afterwards do you review it and think... Like you would a performance, I, I could have done that differently. I review everything a thousand times after it's done. Do you? Yeah. Uh, I'll answer that. Then remind me about a letter that I got okay. after somebody saw the last picture show. Okay. <clears throat> I thought of saying at one time, I don't know how this picture got made, and I really don't, because Timothy Bottoms played opposite me. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, Timmy didn't want to take off his bottoms, which was true. We stood in that little room, uh, Timmy and the director, Peter, and, and I, and uh, I was staying open. I wasn't going to decide anything until I had a little more information. And Timmy said, uh, I'm not taking off my clothes in this scene. I didn't have a chance to say whether I would or not or how I felt about it. <laughs> they assumed it would be the man who would be worried uh, about it. Yes. Mm. So we uh, did the scene then based on that and that decision. So I was going to say, Timmy didn't want to take off his bottoms. Uh, Sybil, who played the young girl in it, didn't want to take off her top, which mm -hmm. was true. Ellen Burstyn didn't want to play my part, which was true. Uh, ben Johnson didn't want to be in a, in a picture that had dirty words in it. Uh, Columbia Man. didn't want to make a, a black and white picture. I don't know how in the world we ever made the oh. last picture show, but we did, didn't we? All those things against it, and it, and it was done. Yeah, we worked it out. Yeah. We used it. Uh, was a serious, uh, the one that interests me the most of all of those, of course, is the one about um, not wanting to make a black and white picture show. Well, why? Peter went down there with, uh, why? People think I'm odd. No, because I, for years I have wanted to see a black and white movie again. I guess uh, I grew up with all the movies being in black and white. I've wanted to see one. I, uh, all my memories of the best movies I've ever seen up to 10 years ago are in black and white. Peter went down there uh, to, uh, Archer City to take uh, some to try uh, before we actually shot to see what some film would look like, and it looked too pretty in color, so yeah. they made the decision. He asked if they wouldn't really uh, let him do it in black and white, and everyone actually was very cooperative. How did the people of Anarene, Texas? You haven't seen the movie. It's in a very small windswept town in Texas. Uh, that's the real name of the town, yes. I assume. Did, did they get on with the, the city? Real, the name, city real name is Archer City, and in the picture it's called Anarene. Oh, I thought it, maybe they just used the name of a real town. It's Archer City, Texas. Yes. Did they? Was there any trouble with the townspeople? They were the, wonderful. Not wanting. Um, I don't they know didn't what, know. They, they <laughs> can get suspicious of it. They're what? silly to take offense because the actual bathing scene was in Wichita Falls, so I feel they're off scot-free. The nudity scene. Yes. Oh, I don't notice those. But things. But you know, in Des Moines, they did things like that. You came from Des Moines, so you're Mike, really from the Midwest, I was, almost as much as I am. I'm a little more close to the center of the country. Where are you from? You don't know. No, tell me. I'm from uh, Nebraska. So isn't Marlon Brando from Nebraska? Brando is, yes, mm -hmm. originally, yeah. And you come from Des Moines and you say there was wickedness in Des Moines? Well, I don't feel it was wickedness. I feel it was survival, that people did whatever they could to, mm. to find a way to live and be happy. There's a high pregnancy rate, I believe. <laughs> Is there? Uh, well, there used to be, but that was before television. It's probably cleaned up a lot now. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if your father was strict, we dealt with him earlier, was your mother then permissive? Or, um... Oh, she was uh, absolutely, totally uncritical, totally loving, totally imaginative. My father was was wonderful in, in other ways. He, uh, I feel he taught me fairness and uh, to be dependable, which I never am, but he represented that at least in our family. And uh, during the war, his younger brothers went to war and, uh, and uh, he started a business for them and held it down till they got back. And he was the solid part of our family. <clears throat> Did you get a letter or anything? Oh yes, the letter. I'm, uh, maybe I'll answer this letter publicly when I said I, I do things over and over in my mind after they're finished. Mm -hmm. I got one letter, which is the most beautiful letter that I could possibly have received <clears throat> after um, someone had seen the last picture show. 
And in the same mail that day, I got a letter saying, we had been big fans of yours, and we left the last picture show after one half hour, and how could you sink so low, and we will never watch the Mary Tyler Moore show again, and heartbroken and disappointedly yours, so-and-so. So in my mind, I have a letter written which says, um, thank you so much for your letter and for caring so much. I understand how you feel because I have played rigid, bigoted people before, and I understand how you think. <laughs> and, uh, however, <laughs> it can't, I, I'm sure that God, I thought I should bring God into it. <clears throat> the great him, or the great he, God, mm -hmm certainly wouldn't have given us bodies where parts of our bodies were evil and bad and, and wrong, and other parts of our bodies were lovely and fine. And, and uh, I think if we consider this, perhaps if you, in your righteousness, could understand how people were created even, <laughs> including yeah. yourselves. I, it goes on and on. I ramble on when I think about this letter. It's an interesting days. answer. My wife, Sincerely, Cloris. My wife wrote the letter. Did you? <laughs> you dictated it. So you just it. saved us a lot of time. Yes, that's in interesting you'd bring God in. Of course well, I think God should be brought in at times like this. I can't think mm -hmm. of any other time, but that is one time when I think, mm -hmm. yes, the Almighty should have a voice. The devil might have had a hand in our construction, too. Uh, impossible, because it's all connected and it all works. Two people couldn't have gotten in on this thing, I don't think. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> say, I, I, it's not that I don't know what to say, but we have to take you a message right now. That. We'll be right back. <laughs>